Ed, video. Ed, what's that? They can't hear you. What do you mean they can't? Your hear mic's me? not working. What do you mean my mic wasn't working? Wait, wait, wait! You're honestly telling me I've waited all this time to do this massive performance for all these people. I finally come back, and this shit happens. <sighs> okay, let's just forget that ever happened. Hello, what is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy Dabs here, and today I've got an amazing video for you. Today I'm going to be showing you and telling you my experience of Ed Sheeran. Yes, finally done it. I've been to see one of my heroes. And it's safe to say, it didn't disappoint. I got to meet Ed Sheeran. No, you didn't. You just wanted a title. No, I saw him from a distance. Honestly, he was like being back at the London Stadium. <laughs> that joke never gets old. We had good seats. Honestly, it wouldn't matter where they put me. Or even what I was sitting on. Seats could have been covered in shit. I wouldn't care. I was there to see my baby. But I want to start you at the start of the day. Got up at 1pm. It's always a good start. Hit it pretty hard the night before. It's because I was so gassed to go and see him, I, I wasn't thinking that. That needs to be fully fit for the day. But, ah, on our way, obviously listening to Ed Sheeran. Here's me singing beautifully. Fucking hell, that was awful. Driving down, I got my first glimpse of Wembley Stadium. Wembley! and I could taste him, I could almost taste him. I could practically hear him. I was hearing him. We had a bit of time to kill, so we done a bit of shopping because of the time we left. Then we went Wagamama's and boy did I have to wait for my food. Honestly, I've been watching a bit of Gordon Ramsay recently and um... Un-fucking-believable. Get out, fuck off, pathetic, embarrassing. I understand his pain. I couldn't tell who the head chef was, but they wasn't on it. Everyone around me was eating and looks like I got stuck with the idiot sandwich. And then finally, my food turned up and um, they took it away from me. It was the wrong order. And to take food away from me is a fate worse than death. Just when my food envy was at the right brim, they bought me my food. I didn't even know what I got, it was prawn something. This prawn rice thing, it was all right, it was great, but you know, like when you're not satisfied with what you're eating, like, it didn't blow my brains out. And they're lucky I had a beer on hand because it was actually the only thing that calmed me down. But finally we got into the stadium and that means only one thing. 100 pictures of yourself in front of the venue with an equal sign behind you. We had a girl called Dylan first. She was lovely. Energetic, absolutely gassed to be there. Who wouldn't be if I was in Wembley with that many people, even with 10? My head would explode and my ego would be even bigger. She was really good. It was like one of them ones where, like, you try not to like it, but she clearly got talent and the songs are clearly good. And I was a bit like, oh, okay. What is your face doing? I mean, I know you're born with it, but uh. And then we have Maisie to follow. She's done a couple of her songs. <laughs> Not as good as the previous one, I have to be honest. But to be fair, she's further along in her career than I am, so who am I to speak? Then it was getting later and later, everyone was chit chatting, and then finally disappeared on screen. 10 minutes until Big Dog was coming out, Ed Sheeran, the ginger Jesus himself, and everybody was fully gassed. And I was like a kid inside. Then 10, 9, 8, 7. You get the idea. Ed Sheeran comes up, everyone goes mental. Mic doesn't work. I'm sorry, Wembley. My pack's not working. My mic wasn't working. Can I get a new pack, please? How are you guys doing tonight? I'm sorry about this. While we get this set up, the band will play in a bit. While we get this set up, let's have another sing song. 
Please, can I get a new pack, Chris? And please, can the mic work? Brilliant. That's like the that's the joke bit I was doing at the start. Is it? And now it's come full circle. It's, it's clever. Yeah. You know, oh, Charlie, they get it. And to make matters worse, my phone died. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine. So I'm sorry to say, this is all the footage I've got. So please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm only joking. <sighs> Fuck! I thought it was over. What's social media here for? I'll just take everyone's content. Go get over it, guys. We were all there. We all saw the same thing. Only I enjoyed it more than most. I wasn't seeing it through a screen because my phone decided to kill itself. Fuck Samson. I'm going to get an iPhone. Ha! <laughs> Never. And also, it's my channel. You're going to want to see me explain the whole thing. No? no? Okay. Here's most of what I saw. Something's never changed. <laughs>
main ones I wanted to see are my favourite songs, my current favourite songs anyway. So you need me. Believe in your source. Bad habits. <laughs> Conversations with a stranger I barely know. stream will 100% be at my funeral. I know, what kind of narcissistic bastard plans their own funeral? Me, being up late drinking. That's me. It's honestly such a roller coaster when you're there though because he's made all of these songs. Songs are brilliant, obviously, but they just start as words on a page or notes on a phone and it can get that big. He said in the show. I played a pub with him. It was 2006. I was 15 years old. I played a pub with 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 As small fry as I am, it's just mental. And that is where hard work meets determination. With raw talent mixed in, it's just unbeatable. And it personally is just like, oh, I want to do that. I want to get there. Anyway, soppy stuff out the way. Now it's time to go home. <laughs> oh my God, the headache of this. I cannot, I can't even put this into words either. Harvey, what a day. Oh, what a day. Starting off with rushing out of the stadium with everyone just like, all packed in you can't move for space you can't do anything 
you feel like you can't breathe. I feel like I'm going to get robbed. And I'm just like, oh my God, let me get out of here. Finally, they get out and it pisses down with rain. The timing of our weather is ridiculous. It moves you from one shit situation into an even worse one. Everyone's rushing to get to their cars. It thins out the further you get out of the stadium. And then there's people just stopping in the middle of the road or bumping into you. Classic Londoner cunts. And I need a wee really badly. I certainly don't want to turn around and go through that all again. Honestly, we must have been waiting in a car for something like an hour and a half. And we must have moved 30 centimetres. And I'm not even joking when I say this. I promise you. And my problems went from bad to worse. I went from one to two. If you know what I mean. So I'm dying to get home. Finally, we got out of this damn stadium. Broke the traffic lights. Not literally. Good weaving and good driving got us through and where we needed to be. That was my experience. I thoroughly recommend that you go. You have to, have to, have to go. And go see Ed. Ed. I'm talking like he's my friend now. He is my friend. He's my best mate. He's my best mate. Please like, comment and subscribe. Your boy dabs out. Don't eat roller blades. <laughs>